In today's ukulele tutorial, we got something really special. We're gonna go over five, that's right, five pineapple Sunday ukuleles. Matter of fact, I could barely hold three, so I had to bring in my assistant, Heather, to help with two of them as well. So this is gonna be a really special video because rarely do you see five of these together. Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome to You Collect the Pros. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you can stay up to date with all the lessons, tutorials, and Pineapple Sunday reviews I do right here on the channel. So today's video is very special because I actually have five Pineapple Sundays right now in my studio. And I decided to do this video because that's very rare to have five of them at once. I wanted you to hear the difference between all these different woods. And that's a key with this one. Every single one of these pineapple sundaes has completely different woods. The other thing is one of these has already been sold, so it's heading on out here in a day or so, and I wanted to do this video before that happened. So we're gonna start here with the classic, and then we're gonna go through all the other ones that I have. So I wanted to start off with the traditional pineapple sundae, and this is the one that started out. This is, and actually this is my very first one as well, this is all koa wood. But actually, before I get into that though, just know that every single ukulele here that we're playing is high G string, okay? So that's, that's gonna be a good test. Plus they all have the same exact strings, which are the koaloha fluorocarbons. Two, they all have the same exact neck. Okay, which is a mahogany neck, all right? So, and the ebony fretboard. And so at least in that sense, everything's the same. The only difference is gonna be the woods. All right, so back to this one. This is all koa wood. So you got koa top, koa sides, and also the koa back. Now this one was my very first pineapple sundae that I got from Pops. And uh, yeah, it's really special to me just because it was the first one that I had and that he hand picked it for me. Okay, so let me go ahead and play a little bit and then we'll check out the next one. So the second one here, and this is actually also mine as well, and what's cool about this particular one is this is the prototype, prototype number one, I will say, of a lot of the pineapple sundaes that Pops is doing now and also of the three I'm about to show you. Now this one is really unique. It has a spruce top, which is hard to tell with this design on it, and I'll talk about that in a second. But it has pine wood on the side and also pine wood on the back. So this one is special because this design, this pyrography is what they call it, is actually burned into the wood. Right, so this, all this pineapple shape here, this design is all burned right into the wood. I mean, how amazing is that? But really it's about the woods here, okay? The spruce top and the pine sides and back, okay? So check this out. All right, so the next one I have up, and actually this one and the next two, these are all the new designs from Pops, and these are all actually up at the You Collect the Pros store, which is store.youcollectthepros.com if you're interested in these. And also, as I mentioned earlier, remember that these all have the same neck, they all have a high G, they all have the ebony fretboard, and they all have the Koaloha fluorocarbon strings. All right, so let's take a look at this one. So this one has the Koa top, and this is a beautiful piece of koa, but here's where it gets really interesting. The maple, the curly maple, hence the name curly maple, and then also curly maple on the back. And if you look at this just right, you can see the flame on this. So not only do you have the lines going this way, but you have all the flame going this way. So hence the name curly, curly maple, or eternal flame. All right, so let's play this one.
All right, so this one and the next one I'm about to show you are very special because to me, they're some of the best sounding pineapple sundaes that I've ever had. Now this one and the next one, you notice one thing different right off the top. The new crown here or the new headstock. Now I know we love the Koloha crown and good reason, it's amazing, but Pops, always experimenting, always pushing the boundaries, is trying new headstock here. And so you're gonna see these on the Pineapple Sundays moving forward. Now this one I refer to as Fire's Eye. Why is that? Well, first of all, look at the top here. We got Eagleman Spruce, and this is a really premium piece of spruce because most spruce is just very straight lines, but this one has all this really cool flame on it. Then you have the Koa wood on the side, and then check this out. Look at this back. This is an absolutely stunning piece of koa. And for me, with the top and the back here, that's why Fire's Eye just gave me that impression when I looked at it. All right, so let's go ahead and play this one. All right, so this is the last one of this group, last one of five. Um, and don't worry, I'm gonna play them all back to back to back with not so much talking in between so you can really hear the difference between them. Now, this is which I referred to as Redwood, if you've seen some of the other videos, um, but it was called The King. And this one has actually already found a home. Uh, but the other ones, like I mentioned, are available, actually the other two, <laughs> at the uh, store.youcollectedpros.com. But anyway, this one has the new style headstock as well. All right, so this one is one of my favorites, and I'm going to get one of these at some point in time. This one has redwood here on the top, koa wood on the sides, and koa wood here on the back. All right, so let me play this one. So now I've gone back and we're gonna do these in order again, except this time I'm gonna talk less and I'm gonna play more. But I wanna know which ones you like. I mean, which ones do you like the way it looks? Which one do you like the way it sounds? Okay, because really they're all incredible. Like if you picked any one of these up and it was the only one that you had to play, you'd be like, yes, this is the way I want my ukulele to feel look and also sound. All right, so now I'm gonna play, uh, let's start with a little, uh, what should we do here? Let's do a little strumming again, something different than I just played, kind of that jazzy thing, and we're gonna do them all back to back. Here we go. All right, so now my pyrography one. Now the curly maple one. Now fire's eye, the spruce top one. And now the redwood one. I know it's hard to try to remember the thing I was playing because I'm just coming up with the stuff on the top of my head. All right, so let's do the same thing, all five of them with a finger picking piece.
All right, so the same piece now with my pyrography. All right, now the one, the curly maple one. All right, so now the spruce top one. And now the redwood one. All right, I got one more thing I'm gonna play, and of course, if you know me, I can't do anything without doing some blues. But do you notice how different they sound from that first kind of Hawaiian jazzy piece I played to the finger picking? It's almost like each ukulele has a different character depending on what you're doing with it. So again, I would love to hear all your comments below on this. So anyway, we're gonna start one more time through all five of them. Let's start with mine. This is an all cool wood one. All right, and now my uh, spruce top and pine wood pyrography one. All right, and now curly, koa top with the curly maple sides and back. Now fire's eye, spruce top. And now the redwood one, also known as the king. All right, so I'm not even gonna attempt to hold all five of them again because the three here <laughs> that I have that are at the store, I don't wanna ding or damage in any way. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is kind of fun. It's kind of cool to do this, play all these different ones. Um, again, even though this one particular one has been sold, by the time you're watching this video, I may have another one up at the store and that's store.youcollectthepros.com. I appreciate you watching the video. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel and I appreciate all the comments because it's, it's kind of fun how we can interact with all these amazing pineapple sundaes. Thanks for being here and we'll see you next time.